what's up everybody? Cracking a pop actually. <laughs> I have an actual pop. I've got some homies with me. We're what we got soccer on and a mute in the background. This is easy peasy podcast, special edition, 8035, with a little bit of World Cup updates. Let's discuss it. Joining me this week, Nick. What's up, guys? How's it going? What up, Nick? Always glad to have you on. And Clem. Hello. Our resident along? World Cup pro, yep. professional <laughs> journalist, giving yep. you the scoop. So let's dive right into the World Cup. We're just straight up watching Croatia, Russia right now. It's Saturday, July 7th, breaking the fourth wall. What's going on? 64 minutes in, it's one to one. I hope Croatia wins. They're, that's who I have winning um, the quarterfinal on my bracket. Yeah, I mean, the quarterfinal, the last one. So, quick summary France won versus Uruguay yesterday. Uh, 2 0, not a bad game. Uh, I mean, France was, of course, favorite. And for who, for the person who don't know, I'm from France, so fuck yeah. <laughs> I mean,. We're going to bring in home, you know what I mean? We're gonna, I think France is going to sw- win this one. But of course, also because I'm French, I think that. So has France won before? I don't know anything yeah, about soccer. So France uh, won one World Cup in 98, 1998. Okay. And that was the last one. And we won to the final in 2006. Okay. In 2004, we, we weren't... We, we didn't make it far, but we are pretty. We are a good team. Like we are like Brazil. Brazil won like four times the World Cup. Argentina three. Uruguay actually two times. England three times. I think. Um, How many times has the U.S. won? Zero. Whoa. U.S. never made it to the like, like you know, round sixteen. Oh, they've yeah. never made it? No. Ever? No. I mean, it's soccer is coming up. Like, it's coming, you know, in the U.S. I'm sure in, I'll say, in, in 20 years, maybe U.S. will make it to the round 16. But just, you know, it's not here yet, but it's coming. I mean, the, although the woman, the woman team, so good. Really? The U.S. woman team is really good. Yeah, oh, they awesome. won in uh, 2015, the World Cup, oh. I think, something like that. Not quite sure, but so yeah. So France won versus Uruguay two zero yesterday. Belgium won versus Brazil. A huge surprise. Okay. Uh, Brazil was the favorite of the World Cup, of course. Oh yeah, that's uh, why I had to win it on my bracket. Yeah, Brazil. Same. So they had a huge, huge team, and Belgium won two ones. I'm, I'm really, I mean, happy and surprised about this Belgium team because they, they always had a good team. But they never like make it really far in the tournaments in the World Cup, so, so they never won. They never won, and so the first uh, semifinal uh, Tuesday at nine, uh, no one p.m. Uh, will be France Belgium, and for who who don't know, um, Belgium is a neighbor. France okay. Belgium is just above France, so that's gonna be a. Uh, nice. Yeah, game. it's like Iowa, Nebraska is what exactly. you said yeah, yesterday. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that makes sense. And so, so the Belgian waffles. <laughs> yeah, the wa- Belgium. I know. You love the we, crepes and waffles. The, and the waffles, the chocolate, and the Ooh, beers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Madison can tell me more about that. Yeah, Madison but, loves Belgium, right? Yeah, she's been there. She's been a year. But friend, in France, we make fun about Belgian people. Like, for instance, a Belgium guy is gonna have a fries in his hand, and he has. We asking him for you know what time is it. And he's just going to flip his hand to watch his, <laughs> his watch and drop the fries. That's what we say. About <laughs> what? Belgium. Yeah. We That's like, the most random thing. We make like thing. funny, like they, ha- they speak French, but it's like a funny French kind of like with an accent and, and some like weird like a expression. Like Texan kind of. Like Texan, but like they even use like some different word, like yeah, some different like French. I mean, I understand everything, but that's not something I will say, mm-hmm. like. And so <clears throat> this morning, England won versus um, uh, who, who was playing? Sweden. So exactly. Thanks. Sweden, uh, 2-0. There was, there was a funny thing on Twitter. It was like somebody posted, oh, look at all these sad, beautiful women. Because it was like cause Swedish <laughs> oh, people yeah, are supposed yeah. to be beautiful. Yeah. It's like in the crowd, there's just a whole bunch of like gorgeous blonde women Sign. crying. Yeah. It's like pictures and pictures of them. Right. No, I mean, and that's, I, I'm happy for Sweden because they made it really far. They're not really good. They're not really have a good team, but they never won Top the World eight. Cup. 
Yeah, That's I mean, cool. pretty they beat cool. Switzerland, right? They were supposed to lose. They beat Switzerland, and they were in the group with Germany at first. So they they beat they. I think I didn't know if they beat them, but I mean they did good. And yeah, right now, 70 minute Russia and Croatia one one. So we're all running for Croatia, of course. Yes. Uh, I have. I actually. Um, so we did a draft at my work, and nice. we did brackets. We're like going crazy right now. That's awesome. My, t- my team likes to do stuff. Like, they just like to do fun stuff, which is kind of cool. Yeah. yeah. So, like, I didn't really care about the World Cup except for talking with you a little bit, Clem. But anyway, I drafted France, Croatia, and Nigeria just because that is, is the last pick. Not yeah. Me, you know. But so I, I want f- I have two of my picks are still in it, you know. I mean, not very many people can say that. My work. France and Croatia. So yeah. Okay. France yeah, and Croatia. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, in my bracket, I did a personal bracket because my team is boring. Uh, I'm, <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding, but we, I'm kidding, but we just don't do that work. Uh, I was actually, I thought Brazil will won. Okay. Oh yeah, so yeah man, I can't believe sense. it. I too, I thought like France, Brazil in semifinals and and France Brazil, would lose. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. now they have a chance, and man, that's gonna be crazy, dude. More, that'd be like. Iowa, Iowa State game, kind yeah, of, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. like because you guys are neighbors and you go. Know, yeah, exactly. Cool. Well, so awesome. That's awesome, and yeah. The, so the next games are so Tuesday, France, Belgium at one p.m. And you're taking the afternoon off for that. Yeah, <laughs> of, course. of course. And Wednesday is gonna be the semi, the other semifinals. So either Croatia, Russia versus England, and I think, I mean, I think the final is gonna be France. England, and we're gonna win easy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Right. So, yeah awesome. No, I'm excited, and you guys should watch some video on YouTube, whatever in France. What's happening right now? People are just out in a bar, just like you know, drinking and watching the game. Like that's a real. That's like the main sport even oh, yeah. in like Europe. Yeah, in Europe, most and, of the world. Yeah. yeah, I mean that's what what you were saying earlier. Is like this is like a big thing for everybody in the entire world except for the u.s you know no I, yeah yeah because it's i mean as i say it's coming yeah i think in the u.s like and maybe the u.s will host the world cup maybe in eight years or you know it's every four years so the next one is in qatar which it's, it's gonna be 110 degree weather yeah. that's what i was gonna ask because more of my soccer ignorance but does the world cup happen every year or every four, four years, years. Okay, that's so why it's like, like the okay, same gotcha. year as the winter olympics i got you okay that makes sense so that's why it's like really, you know, people yeah. wait for that and people are really into that. So what um, happens then? Do they just have a tournament every year? Uh, so every country has its own championship. Oh, like I got France, you. Spain, England, you know, every, every, every country. Kind of like tennis, how there's like a tennis open. So tennis is more like tournaments all, all around the world. Okay. And everyone can play. Um, and after they have different um, different things, there is the Euro, which is only European team. Okay. So it's you know Portugal, Brazil, uh, Portugal, France, uh, Spain, blah blah blah. And that's another uh, competition. And after they have two different competition, if you if you ends uh, three like first, second, or third seed at the end of the championship, you have like a European championships too. So yeah, it's it's going on a lot. But the World Cup is the most like famous and every player wants to you know wants yeah, to win, win the yeah, World yeah, Cup. For sure. So, so cool. that's that's a big event for sure. Awesome. Thanks for the World Cup yeah, update. Man. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I love, well, this, news. I love this poor, of course. We only are gonna <laughs> we're gonna have a very short podcast this week, everybody, because we're doing this on the way to eighty thirty five day two. So that's the main crux of two the two blocks away from the come and go main stage. Yeah, dude, free we're, stage. we're super close. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're doing just a recap of day one. I volunteered at the social club yesterday, and then we all met up, and it was freaking awesome. All of my favorite acts were playing yesterday. Um, I do have one or two big acts uh, today, Rat Boys and Kesha. That's yeah. going to be really fun. The Chicago the King? BJ, the yeah. Chicago kid is going to be fun. I'm just not really, I don't listen to him very often. But I've been listening to Rat Boys for a while. I know a friend of the show, Luis. Lisea, he's going to be huge into that. So we'll get into today here shortly, but let's first recap what we saw yesterday. Holy moly. Yeah, I was awesome. honestly, I, there's a couple things I'm surprised about. First of all, they're giving out free fireball shots every day. You get one. 
Um, and then they have like a girl doing, walking around uh, doing a photo booth type thing, like a mobile like photo booth looking thing. And then uh, free their coffee. Free coffee. That's oh, what I was yeah, just gonna monster. say. Yeah. Two sponsors are giving out free stuff. It's really cool. I just picked one like <laughs> two hours ago. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, it's cool. I mean, I'm gonna go grab coffee some here as soon as we walk in. Honestly, I need some caffeine in me. <laughs> but yeah, let's recap what we saw yesterday, guys. As soon as we got there. Uh, we came over to Madison and Clems right before. We got there around 5.30? Something like that, yeah. 5.36? Yeah. Six, close to 6. Yeah. So our first act, my first act was Jeff Rosenstock at 6.00. Or no, excuse me. It was uh, Remo Drive at 6.45. And everybody was gearing up. A lot of people actually came over for Remo Drive for at least the first couple songs. Yeah. They had a good, excuse uh, me. good following. There's a lot of people there. Yeah, awesome. man. They're, well, they're our neighbors to the north, Bloomington, Minnesota. They just signed to Epitaph Records. Yes, I saw that. That's insane. Epic. And they are going on their first headlining tour this August. So they've got a lot going down. They've got a lot going on. They killed it. Their set list was exactly what I wanted. And I mean, I like to follow acts I really care about. I like to follow their set list and like build a playlist and like know what they're going to play. And we'll get into that with Fanagram because they had a couple surprises for me at least. But Remo Drive killed it. I'm happy that everybody went and saw at least a couple songs. Then where'd you guys go, Nick? I'll toss it to you. So Remo Drive was right before Atmosphere. So then we went over to Atmosphere. Uh, Which at was the main awesome. Uh, I love Atmosphere. They've been one of my, he has been, I guess, one of my favorites for a long time. It's like the fourth or fifth time I've seen him, I think. You can say day so. because, you know, he has a whole... Yeah, has two DJ. Like. So, well, that's actually one of the things I was going to bring up. So, Atmosphere was always, uh, since the beginning, Ant, which is his DJ, and him, which is, he goes by the name Slug. Um, and then there was this third DJ this year, which I had never seen before. So, that's kind of an interesting, interesting twist. So, Ant was still on stage, though? Yes. Okay. Yeah, he was the older looking guy with the glasses. Okay. I like the, you know, like the scratch. Yeah. Like, you got yeah. Man. Dude, yeah, so yeah. I do want to say I was heartbroken that Remo Drive was playing at the same time as Atmosphere because I love Atmosphere. They killed it at Somerset. I've seen them at least one other time. I just don't know where. Um, the Heaps played a couple of times at uh, Simon Not Call on the River. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but so I, I split this. Uh, I went and saw most of Remo Drive. I, they were, when I was leaving, they, they were playing your you're killing me or something that song and that is i know that's their closer so i was like okay i literally only missed one song yeah. um obviously they're set shorter they started 15 minutes before atmosphere and then atmosphere man as soon as i met up with you guys i found you because i saw clem's red shirt that's honestly how i found you guys <laughs> really? twice yeah um man atmosphere was killing it i was pretty drunk by then but but dude i was very like he he honestly was blew me away like i forgot how much i loved like i loved his music I, this, you, you don't even know how many songs you know until you listen right. to him you know it's just like his stage presence and how he always is like talking to the crowd to like transition into the yeah. next song like man you guys are so he's so charismatic like, he like yeah. feels what he says you know yeah. too he like really mean what he yeah. says he always has says, such so. a positive message behind all of his songs too which it just yeah man you can't help but like feel super happy after you watch their set. Yeah, it's nothing but joy. I love them. So they were killing it at, right after Atmosphere. Atmosphere cl uh, got done at about 8.15. He played for over an hour, I believe, yeah. which yep. is pretty intense. Um, I, we all like went to the bathroom. I headed o head over to the Come and Go stage again. That's where Remo Drive played to see Jeff Rosenstock. And wow, he was murdering it too. Very good. I... Yeah, I started to listen to a little bit of them the couple of days leading up to 8035, and I started to enjoy it a lot. But yeah, uh, Shana's brother, uh, Tony Neff, shout out. He, we got to hang out with him for a while. This is the first time we've been able to like see a concert together. Yeah, so that, that was, was really cool. cool. I got to meet him. Um, we One of his favorite acts is Atmosphere, right? That's the only reason he was really good. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, he we watched Jess Rodenstock together, and he actually really enjoyed it. He's like, and he asked me, like, what, what, what's his last name? How do you spell it? And he, like, looked him up on Apple Music oh, as, nice. as we were watching it. So I was like, that's awesome. Heck yeah, yeah dude. Respect. So, yeah, Jeff Rosenstock just released the album Post this year. Follow-up for the album Worry, which came out in 2016. But Post this year is heralded as, like, the our scene, you know, like, yeah. absolute punk guys, those journalists. Some, uh, not like Rolling Stone, but I'm talking about, like, smaller publications, like those journalists, music journalists I follow. 
that album is heralded as like their favorite of the year, first half of the year so far. So post, he, I mean, he's two albums in a row he's released where it's on a lot of people's top 10 albums of the year, you know? So he killed it. Um, if you don't know, though, Jeff Rosentalk is a punk legend. He's been in so many punk bands throughout the years since early 2000s, possibly even late 90s. He's been active for a long time in the music scene. Uh, but he is from the lead singer of Bomb the Music Industry. Which I remember downloading like on um was it what was that it, the lime live oh, lime wire, wire. <laughs> lime wire yeah yeah, yeah. that so, like torrent site yeah dude I remember downloading bomb the music industry on that site after listening to a warp tour compilation I believe oh, yeah. I believe it was a warp tour so yeah nice. super respect sense. um what a monster I mean if you look on Twitter he was like a lot of people's favorite act from last night yeah and that's pretty crazy because we'll get into it here. Yeah, dude, Remo Drive at the free stage. Today, we got Rat Boys at the free stage, you know? They're, that's what I love about 8035 is they're killing it with the free. It's all free, literally. Yeah. yeah Except yeah. for the main eight, stage, eight yeah. ten total acts, like, on the main stage each day, you know? So A lot of people are coming and just for free. Like, yeah. they don't have the, ma- the main stage. Last yeah, yeah, yeah. year, we did. We didn't pay for MGMC MG. last year. You can listen. You can still listen. Yeah, yeah. dude. Yeah, totally. Uh, especially like apartment buildings like close by. You don't even have to leave your apartment yeah, right. for some people. I mean, it's downtown Des Moines in the Sculpture Garden. Love the area. Love the scene. But hey, if you do go to 8035 for free, uh, support like some of the vendors. Support the Des Moines Social Club. They've got yeah. an awesome. They've got free tattoos. They've got a live graffiti painting that they're going to be hanging. tattoos? Hang- yep. Yeah, dude. Like, they're actually real tattoos? No. Uh, yeah. <laughs> like, you know, normal, yeah. like, fake free tattoos. Yeah. But they're um, actually, like, really legit, and they're, they're made, the do- designs are made by artists, Des Moines artists. Mm-hmm. So Cat Rocket Ship did some. Yeah. Keep some it, others. Keep it clean. Throw your trash away. Yeah, 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 yeah dude. dude uh, the keep- basketball, like, shoes. Yeah. <laughs> I love that, dude. I want to check out some more of the vendors. So, yeah, we don't have much more time, guys. So, let's get into the big act from last night. One of my top 10 favorite artists of all time, Fanagram. I, oh, man, I was just like, wow. in awe. as soon as Don't Move came on. So, the th- first track they opened with Your Mind, amazing. I knew they were going to open with that. I already had my tweet ready. So, if you don't know, actually, guys, <laughs> yes. I'm actually lucky. I get a, I'm tweeting from the 8035 handle. Check out my tweets at the dash or hyphen sj those are mine i have five i have to publish today uh i did three last night one for remo drive one for atmosphere and then one for fanagram so i knew they're gonna play your mind i knew they were gonna open with that and they did i just knew it um but then i knew their third track that they were gonna play was don't move and i said i told everybody as soon as they play don't move comes on i'm going to the front i got (laughs) going oh yeah i remember i was up at the front with shelby her and i were dancing grooving so i wish i was with you guys kind of but at the same time one of my favorite acts man i'm gonna be up at the front i mean i know lydia's gonna want to do the same thing for rl grime oh yeah yeah uh, at 515 alive you know when you when it's one of your top 10 favorite artists of all time you got to get up to the you're gonna get up there yeah yeah and i was like grabbing the rail like the guardrail that splits between ga and vi IP. Oh yeah, yeah. I was grabbing. I was like moving it so hard that like the security guy kept telling me, "Dude, stop!" But he was being super respectful. And I was like, every time I would give him, I was pretty drunk. Like I said, during <laughs> atmosphere, I was drunk. But I was having the time of my life. And I, I gave, gave him knuckles each time. I was like, "Yeah, dude, you're right. Sorry. I'm just getting grooving. I'm just getting in the moment, you sure. know." So. Fanagram, I want to hear yeah. what you guys think because she came out with her quintessential jacket where she looks like oh, she has yeah. wings. Yep. Dude, she is such a freaking just beautiful soul. And Josh Carter rocking it. We got Man, f- he he was singing like which was crazy. I don't know if he was singing. He has two at tracks chorus. he sings on. He has a track at least one or two tracks on everything they've ever released that he sings on. Which is I was I thought it was awesome yeah. I, I feel like at Forest it was just him on the decks and her singing. So this was like a whole different setup. It was more of like a live band. They had drummers. So the like, guy in the back that has glasses, for his, he goes by at Foresighted, I believe. I forget his name. I need to get it. Here, I'm going to boost it. We only have about 10 minutes left, guys, at the very most. So we got to get into today. But I do want to give a shout out to him because he is, he likes my photos I, I tag Fanagram in. Okay, so his name is Nicholas Shellestack. Okay. He, you may recognize him. He was in yeah. the keyboards in the back left. So, yeah, he is their tour photographer, okay. and he does 
Oh, he okay. He bartends at a at a bar too when he's not touring. <laughs> which I think that's like that's a perfect, awesome. That's a perfect job. Yeah, <laughs> you can come and go what as you need. What a life, man. Yeah. <laughs> um, but he used to do pho- photography for Fanagram. And if you look at his, um, I am foresighted. I A M foresighted. It's funny. I like that tag. Uh, yeah. Instagram handle. But shout out to him because he killed it on the boards. Um, he's not a part of Fanagram. Fanagram is Josh and Sarah, but. He has been part of the Fanagram family for so long. I mean, geez, touring with them, playing their keys. So, yeah, I want to hear what you guys thought about him. Sorry. I'm just, like, so jacked, <laughs> so excited. Actually, this That's conversation right. reinvigorated me. I was kind of dying from the party last night. But, man, so amazing. No, well. I mean, yeah, that was – I mean, go ahead, Nick. Uh, no, I was just going to say I always have a good time every time I listen to him. I am not one to listen to them all the time, but I did listen to them lot leading up to this and I even made sure that I linked Tony to like one of their old songs like dude you gotta listen to this yeah. you're gonna love him because he's into a lot of those like female lead like acts you know he loves like the Pixies and stuff so it's like you know these guys are right up your alley you know you're gonna love them right and then he had never heard them before and then after the show he's like that was awesome you yeah, yeah, yeah. Loved it. hell so yeah man that was like uh, me I mean I didn't know Fontagram before oh, man before yesterday and I I, lo- I love that yeah I don't want to stunt the conversation on Fanagram but I do want to give a shout out again to Tony because I see him always liking our posts on the yeah, easy yeah. peasy so you, I appreciate that you can always like us share us um, on Facebook at the easy peasy so please do that and I appreciate all the love he gives us so yeah, he talks about you all the time <laughs> he's happy to like met with me yeah dude I'm sorry I was like a little bit drunk when I finally met him at uh, dad so uh, uh, Shana Shana's brother okay brother yep. Le- older, uh, brother. older brother okay yeah, yeah. awesome so yeah what do you think I mean yeah that was awesome I that was I, your first time seeing Fanagram first right? time for seeing Fanagram I spent uh, I spent half of the show the set uh, watching you know and From after afar. I yeah after okay. I've been like further uh, but it was awesome. I liked it. I liked the vibe. I liked the energy. I like everything she puts, you know, in, in Man, doing her show. Man, she's got so much energy. Yeah. I love it. She's it a was true... Really good. Uh, a perfect per- act. Yes, yeah, 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 yes. Yeah. Honestly, MGMT is a really perfect act too, but I don't love them near as much. Um, you know, just thinking back to like past years, they are a perfect act. I love it. This was their Des Moines debut, and that's I called that out on and during my 8035 tweet. Um, yeah, so super excited to see them here in my hometown. Loved it. Um, their set list, their set list was in, amazing. I wanted them to play Funeral Pyre so bad. Okay. That song is just man. When I saw that in Ames for the first time, when I saw them in Ames at um, the and what I don't even know what venue, but it's on the campus, like it's okay. part of the college campus. Right. Um, I went with Dan Brown, uh, old school Lemonhead, uh, on episode one through twenty-four or so. Uh, him and his sister, she actually got to do photography for them, so nice. she got to take shots. But yeah, they had like crazy light lighting during that song, so I remember it. And they had the same like yeah. kind of like beaming lights. Oh yeah, yeah. I loved their uh, they, their whole theme was kind of like black and white. For yeah. The most part. And they, yeah, they threw yeah, in like right. some that's bright right. reds, but yeah, it was really like cool. her black and white and just not really the full picture. Like I don't mm-hmm. know, it was really cool. The yeah. the background was. They had a, was nice. yeah, their stage presence was awesome for sure. Loved it. Um, so, yeah, thank you so much for playing Funeral Pyre, P- Fanagram. Josh and Sarah killed it. Nicholas over there on the keys, also awesome. I think somebody was playing drums, too. But it was I, a drummer, yeah. Yeah, but I don't... Um, Which is... I thought it was crazy. I mean, a lot of artists do that. They'll have, like, a touring, you know, live band or something, you know. Hired hands, you know. Uh, so yeah, let's get into today, guys. We only have about five more minutes before we have to head out to 8035. It's only like a six-minute walk, not even. Not even. Uh, like like a two, I meant, two, like two seconds, blocks. Seconds, yeah, yeah, two blocks. <laughs> and we're down here at the Clemens building. Madison and Clems, freaking party, pregame party. So, yeah, shout out to them for hosting us all. Thanks. Awesome. I love the sangria. Yes, Tight. <laughs> um, so you always want to mix drink. Like that. <laughs> it's awesome. So, yeah, let's talk about today, guys. We're about to head in and see BJ, the Chicago kid. Yep. First time in Des Moines, to the best of my knowledge. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm excited for him. I mean, he's a badass rapper, right? Yeah, definitely. I mean, he's fucking collabed with the likes of Childish Gambino. When you search him on Apple Music, you find his songs, of course, but then you also find so many other songs, Chance the Rapper. He's just yes. in a ton of songs. Yeah. 
So yeah, um, yeah, we got the game back in the background here. It's gonna go to OT, right? Is that a thing in soccer? Yeah, that's that's a thing. So or is it penalty? Is it shot? So it's it's gonna be just yeah, just like it's totally different from what we're speaking right now. But <laughs> so it's if it's go to overtime, Russia, Russia, it's fifty, it's two times fifteen minutes of overtime, and if it's still tied at the end of this thirty more minutes. It's gonna be the penalties, oh. which is oh no, awful. someone just got injured. The goalkeeper, not good. But hey, guys, we gotta talk about today. <laughs> We're like getting wrapped up in the game. Um, so there's also a guy, rap from boys, the guys, morning, right? What's that? A rapper from Des Moines. From, who oh yeah, be well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Billy Weathers. He's gonna kill at eight fifteen. I can't wait. He yeah. Moves. He, Just before K, uh, Kesha. Kesha, yeah, I believe he's at the come and go stage. It might be nationwide. But either way, you better get out there, guys. He was nationwide, yep. Mad respect to him. We have not been in a nationwide stage, so we're going to be there a couple times today, I'm sure. Yeah. Um, Rat Boys, though, one of my favorite acts from Man, okay. Chicago. I, I know you guys have been talking. Yeah, Rat Boys are from Chicago. You guys have been talking about him for a while, and I never actually listened to him until just, you know, within about a week of this show. And I, yeah, I love him. I, like, I love the, like, alt-country vibe. It's awesome. It's so yeah, good. Yeah, man. yeah, man. Um, so good. Yeah. She's Rat Boys are going to be opening up for Foxing on their headlining tour this August. I'm gonna, I want to or September. I want to go catch them. I don't know if I'll be able to the weekday. It's like a, in a different state on during the week. You know, it's hard to do that. I'm doing that tomorrow though. I'm going to Chicago to see Anthony Green. <laughs> Look at you, Avalon ten year tour. I can't wait to talk about it. Next episode, dude. That I've been calling for that tour since 2014. Ten year. As soon as I saw ten year anniversary tour, it's coming down the line. Um, but yeah, guys, let's talk about Kesha. How excited she's gonna yes. bring the party. She's gonna bring the fun. Yeah, she's definitely yeah, yeah. going to be a bunch of a, the crew ended up seeing her in like Sioux City or something. Right, earlier right. This Not week. that long ago. Last yeah, weekend, yeah. maybe. Last weekend. Um, so that was insane. They said that it was a good time. Yeah, she, I don't uh, know her that well, but I'm excited. Uh, it's just you know your coffee radio. Right, hits, right. But I mean, it's gonna be a cool to see say that I've seen her, and I think yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, we're yeah. gonna have fun either way. Like, right. Yeah, no, a good day. I mean, it's not too yeah, warm. I, I would say yesterday Jeez. would be my more uh, of the artists I'm just super yeah. excited to see. I, I actually do want to catch some Poison Control Center if we can. Oh, yeah, definitely. Are they playing at 8.15, though? Uh, yeah, they are. Apparently, they have two sets. I heard from uh, Alex B. Word, but They had one earlier in the day. Day. Yeah, see, it was at four. I think it's at four p.m. or yeah, something. Yeah, three forty-five. Okay, yeah. So we'll. I don't know. We're, we're gonna try catching them, but Rat Boys playing at the same time. So guys, we gotta close out the episode though. We gotta go to e thirty-five. Um, but yeah, we're we're gonna give give you another update. Hopefully next weekend. That would be really cool. Um, we're gonna be recording it, but right before the game starts, I believe on Sunday, or maybe we'll record Saturday just so go. we can catch the game, can talk about it. We'll get another update from Clem. That'd be really rad. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we've got a part. I've got Chicago tomorrow, and then I've got work, and then I've got we got Alex B. Ware's birthday party bus. Yeah. So we've got a lot to talk about here in Des Moines. We're at one of Des Moines' biggest music festivals. We're gonna bring you the updates next week. So thank you so much for joining us for this special episode of eighty thirty five. Easy peasy meets easy peasy podcast. <laughs> One of these years, I'd be rad to do like a live like thing. Have you seen Pants Off podcast? Yeah, like? man. Yeah. And you need, Dude. I mean, the sound around. No, but like I mean, you just you have not live podcast at the festival, but like you just have like a booth or something. That'd be yeah, cool. Yeah, he oh, there last year. So yeah, cool. he was there yeah, doing yeah. like Damn. talking to people and stuff. Yeah, that would be so nice. All right, guys, let's head out. Thank you for joining us. You can find Nick at bazooka underscore Nick on Instagram. Me at Sean S Johnson. Easy peasy at the easy peasy, and you can find Clem <laughs> watching the World Cup. Yeah, go <laughs> in friends, the real world, baby. In, the, in his living room, in his bedroom, if watching friends the World Cup. Friends, gonna win the World Cup. You can text me a little piece. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, thank you so much for joining us. Bye. Talk to you later. Yeah.